Hey there, Aries. So welcome to your reading for the week of May 4th. A lot of people have been giving me awesome feedback um, on the May videos, which I, like I said, these, this is kind of like an experiment for me. Uh, you know, I've been kind of just led to do these videos, so I'm just doing them. Um, and like I said, based on feedback, people want weekly. So I'm going to do weeklies for as long, you know, as long as I possibly can, as much as I possibly can. It's a little bit difficult because you know I do have a business that I run, so it's it is hard for me to sometimes do these videos. But I'm gonna do my best for everybody to get these out. Like I said, I'm trying to help people with these, so that's why I'm doing them. So Aries, your week of May fourth is looking really really good, and I did shuffle these cards. People were asking about shuffling. I shuffle them, I spread them out, so I pick them totally at random. It's it's not you know there's no shuffling issues. I don't shuffle and pull from the top. I pick just at random. So. Just so you know that, but your first card that you get for the week of the fourth is the Three of Hearts, which is a very, very good card, and it's one of the cards that uh, when I see it in a reading, it kind of determines the the outcome of the whole reading. So, uh, you know, it say there are a bunch of negative cards. This card would kind of strengthen that, even though, like I say, there is no positive or negative. There's just only experience. That's all there is. And you know it's it's what you have to get go through to get to the really good stuff. But um, like I said, there's nothing negative here, so you don't have to worry about that. But if it's a positive reading, or what most people would view as positive, this only strengthens that positivity. It just kind of reinforces it and says, yes, it's going to be a great week. And uh, you know what I would say about this week is you have a lot of love cards. Pretty much all the cards that you pull that have come out have all had to do with um, love. Uh, this is a jack of hearts. Which, um, actually, strangely enough, the Jack of Hearts could actually be you. Um, you know, and like I say, I don't, I don't attach sex to my cards. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you're male or female, that this could be you. And it could be that you are looking at somebody. You, you kind of, like, admire somebody. This is like an ad admiration card. It's like you looking at somebody. Or it's somebody, you know, somebody looking at you. And uh, they they admire you and they like you. Um, you know, it's funny. It's weird because normally I, I do believe, I, I, and, um, you know, I'm not an expert on this. Like I said, I kind of attach my own meanings to these cards. But I do believe that typically the Jack of Hearts is considered a water sign. You know, it would be considered a water sign male. So that's always a possibility. But, you know, like I said, this, this is coming up for some of you for some reason. You know, just the feeling I get. But it also could be somebody who admires you. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Now, the next card you got, you actually got two cards. Um, you know, I only do three cards for the weeklies. But since it came out, um, I am going to pull this card out. You got the Four of Hearts. Four of Hearts, I've, I've said it before. And, and you probably, I think you might have actually gotten a very similar card or four. Fours to me are about security and, and foundation and stability. So it could be that you're in a relationship, or it could be even that this person who admires you or you admire them. Um, you know, it's it could be a very stable relationship coming in for you, um, something along those lines. And um, part of me feels like a lot of you have probably been maybe lacking in the love department. If it's not love, it's business. Um, you know, this is a general reading, so it's, you know, it's, I can't, you know, tell for everybody really, but it could be business. If your love life is fine, then this could definitely be business, but I feel like it's probably been lacking a little bit, and it's interesting that this card, the Six of Spades, popped out with that four. And the Six of Spades is actually not a negative card. Like, like I said, uh, people read the spades cards as a negative, which I, I think the spades cards get a bad rap because I don't think they are negative. I think a lot of the times that I've done readings for these peop for these, you know, for for people is what I'm trying to say. I'm all tongue tied tonight. Um you know, a lot of the times they're just either I don't want to say warnings, because warnings again is a little too extreme, but they're kind of just like messages for warnings. <laughs> saying, hey, look out for this or look out for that. Or they're just small obstacles that if you overcome, and I've seen this with people who overcome these obstacles, they end up so much better off. But the Six of Spades actually, to me, is a card of, it's a card of like symmetry. You know, if you fold these spades over, they, they line up per perfectly with each other, pretty much as all suits do. But um, this card, if you were to fold it over, these spades would match up together perfectly. 
And, you know, I'm feeling like a lot of symmetry coming in. And the other thing is, is that this card can mean kind of incremental improvements. So, you know, you're making improvements, it's small, and, um, you know, it's, they're kind of those improvements where you are maybe just starting to feel that you're actually making progress. It's kind of like, you know, this card, a good, good kind of thing that you could say about this card is it's almost like the roller coaster going up. It's like click, click, click. So it's like you're clicking your way up. And it could be for love coming in, or it could be your business. It's just, it's just clicking up, but it's getting there, and it's about to just be, you know, it's about to go. So that's what this card means. So awesome week. I mean, you know, you really couldn't ask for a better reading. So thank you for watching, guys.